hey what's up guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is aries today i am actually making this ankara bag and i am using this as a chance to show you guys how i made this type of sides or gussets or and also how i made this type of handle especially if you don't have like a special foot so for the stiffener i am using fiber board or what some people call carry board i'm just going to cut most of these things off cam to save time and if you want the measurements this is where you refer to to get all your dimensions and this is what you're going to use to cut out every piece so like i said before i am using fiber board as my stiffener because as you know with just fabric your bag is not going to stand properly so these are the pieces that i cut for the front and back the sides of the bag and also the base all in the same fiber board so same thing i'm just going to cut out my denim fabric and my ankara of cam and this is what's going to look like when you're done so i have two pieces for the handle then the front and the back piece and um, also the bottom and the side pieces too so this is just um, a slightly bigger piece that I'm going to use for the inner part or the lining. I just want the dining thing to sort of flow with the design. And um, for the handle, yes, I am using um, a hose or pipe, either way you want to call it, but anything that you know is round and is sort of stiff. Some people use the transparent threaded pipes. This one, I just got some old gas, some. Um, some old gas pipes and that's what I'm using here so you can use any kind of pipe you want as long as it's the right thickness it's going to work fine so always ensure that you measure your pipe that you're going to use for your handle because that's going to determine how um, wide you're going to sew the strap that you're going to use for your handle so here I'm using my single heavy-duty sewing machine for the denim area because it's way easier to do when you have like a flat bed than when you have like a cylinder bed so just when you're done sewing your two straps you just sort of push this in this is why it's good to use something that is stiff so you can just push it in and it's a very snug and perfect fit so i'm doing the same thing for the two handles so this is just a way for us to prep our parts before we start joining other places together but i wanted to do some first just to show you guys how to make this type of handle and it's super easy and you don't need any special foot or special sewing machine to make this type of handle so next we are going to go with the front piece which is joining the denim um, band on top to the ankara part if you notice i made sure i centralized my ankara piece because i always feel that when you have good um, symmetry patterns always look best that way so i'm just going to first of all use the right sides to face each other as per usual then sew them together and i'm doing the same thing for both pieces before taking it back and top stitching to give it like a very flat and neat finish so same thing i'm just going to go back and top stitch our piece you want to be careful you want to be neat because this is going to be the front of the bag and it's going to be one of the first things you're going to see when they're actually checking out your work So when we have our two pieces, now it's time to start wrapping our stiffeners. So these are the two um, pieces I'm using for the front and the back. Please refer to the measurement page for the dimensions. I'm going to sort of, I think I'll try and share a link to a page if you want to download it later. But I feel you can just go back and look at the page. You can screenshot and get all the details you want to get. So I'm using contact adhesive as same same thing that i use with all my other works i'm using contact adhesive because it's easy it's easy for me to get and it works well with all my craft jobs so i'm just going to first of all put the contact adhesive on the stiffener alone because the fabric is really light or like when you're working with synthetic leather i always put on one side and when the gum is still kind of sticky i just sort of lay the fabric on it and let the fabric sort of absorb 
whatever gum that is on the surface and it can actually dry because the fabric is breathable so this is not going to be terrible your work so i'm just making sure that i align it in the middle so we have our uh, middle point as central as possible and i'm doing the same thing for the front and the back so now i'm moving to the side to get the dimensions to cut the sides again please go to the measurement page so i'm just going to first of all put contact adhesive on the stiffeners for the two sides the base and the front and the back so now it's time to do the second step in coming which is you have to now put a little contact adhesive at the edge of the stiffener and let it sort of spread into the material this is going to be in the inner part so it doesn't matter if the gum soaks through the fabric because it's going to be inside but this one secures the corners in and make sure that your work doesn't look terrible so the one on the right is the one i've already done just for reference and the one on the left i'm going to just do it for you guys so it's the same method i use when i use this type of stiffeners where i just sort of fold around the edges as neat as possible and for the bottom this is how you are going folded you make two notches right at the corners here so that you can just prop this one up and you can fold two sides as snug and as neat as possible it doesn't matter how rough it looks inside as long as the outer part is neat that is what matters you don't want your work to look sloppy both in and out so i'm just trimming off the corners and all the edges and this is what your work should look like when you're done wrapping the sides and off camera i already wrapped the bottom because that's just a rectangle and it's there's no trick to it so i did the same thing for the front and the back piece and now it's time to um, attach our denim to the sides so i've used this method before but i have to sew the lining just to the top first so this way i just apply contact adhesive on the main piece itself and sort of just fold the lining over this way it's a very neat and you don't get to see the stitches in this is not compulsory it's just a trick that I do sometimes when I want the thing to look seamless and neat so I'm just going to go around all the corners and trim and if you notice I'm sort of cutting diagonally not straight because you want to leave a little gap at the bottom so that when you sew your pieces together you don't have your lining fabric sticking out from the bottom so I'm using the same technique and also this one helps you to avoid cutting your main piece mistakenly so now it's time to join our three sides together you just sort of put the base if you notice it's the same width but you sort of have the two bottoms sticking out if you've tried this method before put it in the comment section let me know if it's in if it's an easy thing for you to do or if it's difficult or if you're just seeing this for the first time put this in the comment section what you think about this type of gusset and if you prefer it to the normal traditional one we used to do before so we're taking this sewing machine just to quickly stitch the two lower sides together you want to be as close to the edge as possible you don't want to sew off too much because that's going to affect the length of the gusset so i'm just going to trim and with this we're done with the sides so now is to get to the main back and front and then we can start closing so now it's time to attach our strap i am measuring six centimeter from either edge or rather either ends and i just want to put a little contact adhesive to just help so much easier instead of having to worry about how you're going to attack before you start sewing so i'm using the same method i used before like i said i wanted the inner part to look seamless so i'm going to first of all gum the handle down so it doesn't move when i'm doing this our our technique so i'm just going to lay it the right side of the lining this is why i did not measure it because i just wanted it to be a little bigger than the main piece itself 
so i'm going to take it to the sewing machine and we're just going to sew on the top alone sewing it with the handle inside so like i did the sides i'm just going to come back and put some contact adhesive and fold the lining over this one you know that the handle is secure the top is secure everything is in place and if you do this for the front and the back they're ready to start closing your bag so i'm just going to smoothen this out a bit before um, trimming the edges like you see here you notice that you see a little ankara sticking out from the ends and that is so that when you're sewing you don't have like pieces of denim or pieces of lining sticking out from the edge of your work so if you are very familiar with my work you will know that when i want to start closing i like to use binder clips i have multiple sizes there's no recommended size i like using the mix sizes depending on what i am clipping so this method i can adjust at this point if you make any mistake you should notice that your your pieces are not fitting perfectly but i like to use binder clips to just clip my pieces together before taking it to the sewing machine i don't know what you guys think about this type of corset i really like it i don't do it a lot i don't know why but <laughs> i just had decided to show people that haven't done this type of corset before to see if they can try their hands on it and also use this as a chance to show you guys how i made the rolled or rather round handle what do you guys think about it put it in the comment section so now we are ready to take our bag for sewing i am using my cylinder arm as per usual to do the finishing and i'm just going to sew this very simple very easy this very easy method i'm just going to sew this the two sides and the bottom so it's a very simple bag what do you guys think about this project put it in the comment section if there's any kind of bag you want me to make send the picture to my email i would love to hear from you guys aries at lagos at gmail.com thank you for watching this video if you have come this far you are the real og thanks for watching my video don't forget to like and subscribe i would love to hear from you guys i guess i'll see you in my next posts